Fifty Shades of Obsession in Manhattan Romeo and Valentine Billionaire Obsession One Billionaire Obsession Book One Written by Sirene Hunt Narrated by Kimberly Millay Chapter One It's a typical bitter-cold winter December morning in Manhattan. There's a blizzard that threatens New York City in the worst conditions soon. The strong winds gust through the towering skyscrapers and whistles in the air. Snowflakes are tumbling from the sky as I walk on a blanket of snow. I hurry quickly to Starbucks before the snowstorm throws a fit in the air. The most attractive, flawless young man I had ever seen sits by the corner table, distracting me as hell. With his high fashion style, physique, and tone, he looks like a model on a Vanity Fair's magazine cover of Italy. Discreetly, I slant a glance and sense his seductive stare, which radiates from his sparkling, sapphire eyes, visually caressing me. The flash of his lustful, dazzling eyes sends desire rippling across me as a flush of blood rushes up my heated cheeks. In turn, I notice my ethereal beauty arouses an infectious desire which excites him further in a shade of obsession. Obstructed by his cell phone vibrating in his pant pocket, he reaches for it and takes the call. I'm tremendously grateful for this sort of distraction, but he ends his call abruptly. Hey, call me back. I'm in the middle of something, he says to the caller. Nervously, I toss my finger to curl my wavy, silky blonde hair as he sends me a signal more than I can put into words. His eyes grow in a mysterious gaze and scorches me. Instantly, I feel a dangerous sensation hypnotizing me in an effervescent unease. I'm waiting in line for a cappuccino, and my azure eyes studied him surreptitiously. Why does he have to be so incredibly sexy and irresistibly hot? I muttered. Without uttering one word to me, he definitely piqued my interest in him. This is the kind of guy that his presence oozed a powerful aura. He'd totally blown you away and take you over the moon. You'd not want to lose sight of his glow of perfection. Oh my, is he a Greek god dropped from heaven? You'd be immensely proud if chosen to kneel before him and worship him to his satisfaction. He's a king of beauty among famous striking men, as heartthrob stunning Johnny Depp. He's enthralling and rare, like a sexy god above all men that walk the earth. Can you imagine him more extraordinarily attractive than Jamie Dornman, known as Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey? Damn it, you definitely want to be his ravenous, naughty little sex slave, drawn into his web of passion. Suddenly, my breath caught from his flattering attention. Apparently, he senses my appraisal of him. He winks at me. A flirtatious, flashy grin quirks up from his wicked, full pink lips, as if he'd somehow known my thoughts of him. May I ask what's going on in that pretty head of yours? He asks inquisitively with a chuckle. I glance up. My eyes skim around the cafe and noticed everyone staring at me. Oh my, am I the center of attraction here? Lord, my stomach almost twists into a tingly knot and explodes. I bite my lips. My eyes dart into his seductive blue eyes. I beg your pardon. What's that? I ask. His magnetic smile beams brilliantly. I can see he has a massive crush on me now. His eyes burn with ravenous hunger of desire. Nervously, I start swinging my keys and they drop to the floor. 
Fluidly he arose, and I'm stunned. In a flash, his towering, exquisite figure swiftly dashes towards me like a shooting star from heaven. Elegantly he crouches, scoops up my keys, reaches my hand, and places it in my palm. Do you have any idea how sexy you are? He says persuasively, taking in a deep breath. I bite my lips to suppress a smile. My inner goddess is melting, but I scowled at him defiantly. You're a brave soldier, but stop teasing me before I shoot you down. His lips twist in a sardonic smile. You'd think twice before you do that. <laughs> you just can't hide the flush that rose up on your cheeks. <laughs> His laugh's quite deep and husky, the warmth of his tempting hands soaking into mine. I'm slammed into his powerful magnetism. I feel like a strong current wave submerges me to the depth of the ocean and floats me back to the surface of the seashore as he releases my hand. Entirely drawn to him, I am intoxicated by his masculine, hypnotic, rich scent of delicious aroma that takes my breath away and makes my heart whimsical. I love how this man smells good, but I inhale one of the world's rarest ingredient of spicy scent of his expensive cologne. Holy hell, you smell good. What are you wearing? I ask teasingly. His eyes soften in molten desire. He bites his lower lip to avoid a tantalizing broad grin. It's a blend of ombre top copy and Christian Clive number one and a secret scent I won't reveal, he chortles. Huh, royal and luxurious scent, I chuckle. My inner goddess believes it's a secret cologne with the highest concentration of pheromones. Gracefully, he drifts back, braces himself on the wall, bows his head directly at his phone, reading his text messages and replying. Helplessly, I feel drawn to him, bound to him, that I quiver and feel something shift within me deep into my soul. Everything about him makes my stomach full of butterflies. I feel a rush of electricity shudder through my spine. My knees are shaky, and my heart's thumping. Damn it! His eyes light my body on fire. I flush. My cheeks are red hot. My desire escalates. My body burns and tingles. Libido's rising. My nipples tightening in my bra, and there's an aching rises up my thighs by how much he intensely turns me on. Oh, God, what he'd think of me. Why can't I take my eyes off from his fathomless gaze? I guess God took his time to make this breathtaking man. Dios mío, he's devilishly handsome and sexy as hell. No other man on this earth has ever affected me this way. I just want to capture him and rip his shirt off to reveal his naked chest. After a minute, he sinks his predatory eyes into mine, and I froze. He seems to study my face apprehensively. Then he chuckles. I see you're struggling to resist your craving. It's not a crime to stare at the king of pleasure. He whispers amused, and his eyes twinkle with mirth and catches my gaze once more. Then I smile ironically and sneer at him. Hum, how nice. Pleasure's not a crime, but pleasure brings pain, I explain. I scold myself, blinking out of my steady gaze. Still, my eyes jerk back to him, and I found it impossible to turn away. I am cast under his spell as his hungry eyes devours and sucks me in. I am trapped in his weakness. I am possessed and obsessed with his obsessive lust over me. 
His rare, handsome face needs to be glazed in oil paint on a canvas, like the ancient Greeks and Romans. Renaissance jewel glossy painting at an art gallery in a museum. Knowing I would never lay my eyes on him again, I lift my camera hanging around my neck to snap a picture of him. I'd do a masterpiece painting of him. Why are you lingering at Starbucks flirting with me? Aren't you waiting for your coffee date? I ask curiously. Just in case you should know, I am waiting on her. But you led me on, he replies, and checks the time on his expensive Rolex watch. Damn, he's taken. Have I led you on? I ask. Yes, don't feel guilty. It happens to me all the time. Why don't you confess you're restless since you've seen me? I acted like I'm the one in control, stifling my weakness. Sure, you're quite a flirtatious, confident woman. Perhaps you should stop seducing me. His grin broadens with amusement. How many women's hearts have you broken without yours ever been shattered once, I ask. A woman walks by, interrupts, and escorts him to a table. He looks at me. Sorry, I have to go now. Curiously, I flick my eyes to feast upon this sexiest man in the galaxy. This flawlessly dressed supermodel wears an elegant shiny gray suit accompanied by an expensive, sophisticated white shirt. There's a matching distinctive pattern of red tie tucked under his waistcoat. I guess his clothing's custom made for him from Paris or somewhere with such an immaculate fit. He's the secret fantasy man that I dream of but unable to have. I'd like to see who's the lucky woman of such a charming man. Comparing myself... I feel stupid standing here, self-consciously wondering how my hair looks with sprinkles of snowflakes. Hopefully my elaborate makeup hasn't spilled on my cheeks. I shouldn't be covered in this coat drenched with snow. It's about time he sees my eye-catching satin fabric bodycon mini black dress. Does it bring out my flattering figure? Instantly, I'm on hot fire. My skin burns and tingles. I struggle out of my mini wool, double-breasted, flare-red coat. I rest it on my hand to reveal my curves and legs to impress him. Did these black leather knee boots compliment my outfit? I blink, trying to stop myself from losing my confidence. Girl, keep up the alluring appearance. Focus, Valentine. You're always buoyant. Now's the time to let your inner goddess shine through. I unwrap my super soft knit plaid red scarf that gives way to my plunging neckline. I've never before seen smoldering eyes like this glued to my chest and undressing me in an undeniably seductive, sexy stare. Apparently, he seems to have fallen into a ninety-second trance of staring at me. Confidently, I place my order. One large cappuccino. Uh, sorry. I'd like a latte macchiato drizzle with caramel, please. I fumble in my bag to get my purse and find I picked up the wrong bag this morning. I'm instantly mortified as embarrassment washed over me so I take a quick glance in the corner of my eyes to see if he noticed. Oh, shit! Why? Damn! He ends his call and focuses on me again. I look away, then, damn it, look back strong, back into his eyes. I can read his mind. He's going to follow me. I quickly juggle back into my coat. Abruptly, a hot, sexy blonde walks up to him and kisses his lips. Damn, he's every girl's dream. I hustle briskly to escape out of Starbucks, disappearing through the doors.